Hey y'all, May May is here and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new and if you're wondering why my hair looks like this, uh, clearly it's wash day and I've neglected my hair. It's been like 10 days since my last wash day and my scalp is screaming a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how to do an apple cider vinegar rinse or ACV rinse for short. So I'm gonna hop right into this tutorial. But before I do, First off, I need y'all to go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below so y'all don't miss any future uploads from me. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so that way you don't miss any future uploads. I will be posting now Wednesdays and Sundays. So I need to make sure y'all are subscribed and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of this awesome, helpful content. Also, I need y'all to let me know you actually enjoy my content. Can you know how you do that? Hit the like button and also comment down below let me know how y'all feel, how y'all are doing. Let me know if you tried out these apple cider vinegar rinse before and how they work for you. I need y'all to act like real ones and comment below. And the guys who are always commenting, y'all real ones. And I need the rest of y'all to catch up. Also, don't forget to follow me on my other socials. I'm also on Instagram at maymayishere911. And I'm also starting up a TikTok and my first TikTok will be posted already by the time y'all see this video. So that'll be linked down below, so don't forget to follow me on there as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into this tutorial. Alright guys, first things first before I really go into this tutorial, just want to give you an idea of what an apple cider vinegar rinse. So clearly one, it includes apple cider vinegar. And the point of this is to soothe dry, itchy scalp. Apple cider vinegar also helps with pH balance of your scalp. So this is super helpful. And again, if you have dry, itchy, flaky scalp like myself, it does wonders for your scalp. And this is a really great replacement for something that might be more stripping on your hair, like a really stimulating shampoo. So if you don't want to avoid drying out your hair and make sure it's still healthy, but your scalp is also still in good health, this is a good option for you to use prior to going into a more moisturizing shampoo or a co-wash. Or you can also you completely use it as a replacement shampoo and then begin conditioning or deep conditioning or whatever it is going next in your wash your routine. I hope you're conditioning though. Please condition your hair. Please do. Your curls will thank you. They will love and appreciate you. But first things first, you'll need a couple of things. One, you will need a water bottle, a mister. You can buy these off of Amazon and they do this nice little misting thing. Um, you can also easily buy these from Sally Beauty as well. Of course, you will need some apple cider vinegar. I recommend getting some apple cider vinegar that has with the mother on it. This has all the good ingredients and one of the key ways you can tell what one will be on the packaging. Most apple cider vinegars, they have the mother, they'll tell you on the bottle, but they also have like this dark part at the bottom that you kind of see floating around. That's all the good stuff and it has a lot of the nutrients and benefits. So you definitely want the one with the mother. The one I have is from the brand by Bragg. And I got a huge bottle of it. I don't remember how much it cost. I'll post that somewhere on the screen, but definitely recommend getting this. And to add a little extra kick, I advise getting like a minty type of oil to add to your mixture. So my favorite one is from the Curls Blueberry Bliss line. It's a scalp treatment. This stuff feels amazing. You can use it on its own throughout the week too if your scalp is really bothering you. I am unfortunately out, so I won't be using this, but this will be my recommended one. Um, the one that I recently picked up, it's okay, it's not my favorite, but it works. And this is the Design Essentials Scalp and Skin Care Anti-Itch and Tension Relief Tea Tree and Aloe Oil. And it looks like this. And the other thing, you'll need like some type of plastic cap. You can use a plastic bag. You can use a shower cap. Doesn't really matter, but you'll need something to cover your hair with. Apple cider vinegar is very messy and you'll just need to let the apple cider vinegar marinate on your scalp for a bit. So definitely get something to cover it with. Oh, one other quick thing to be. Use an old raggedy t-shirt because this is gonna be a messy process. 
I'm just using my old high school t-shirt that I don't really wear out or anything. So this works fine for me. And yeah, let's hop right into it. So first of all, I'm just gonna go ahead and wet my hair. And so that way it's fully soaked. And then we'll hop right into the next step. Make your hair sure your hair is thoroughly saturated with water. Hair doesn't need to be detangled or anything, just make sure it's way down with the water. As you can see, this side's a lot more way down than this side. Also, if it's easier for you, you can just soak your hair with water in the shower or in the sink, whichever is most convenient for you. But I don't feel like doing either, so this is how I'm doing it. Still will need a spray bottle, specifically a mister. I wouldn't get a regular spray bottle, I'll get a mister. <laughs> specifically, but still will need this. All right, that's good enough. So I'll have one of these, so I'm gonna empty out. I guess a lot of water. Y'all saw this was all the way up here, right? My hair was thirsty apparently. But I'm gonna go ahead, use this mister now and put the apple cider vinegar in here. So taking in some of this apple cider vinegar and this little bottle and just pouring a little, I'm gonna fix this angle cause I don't want to spill this everywhere. So one moment. Okay, so hopefully this is a little bit of a better angle for y'all. But again, I'm taking this apple cider vinegar, taking this bomb half of the Mr. Bottle and I'm just going to start pouring a little bit of this in. more than enough right there just to start off. If I need to go back and add more, that's fine, but I think that might be enough for my head because I'm just focusing this on my scalp. I'm not worried about getting this on my hair. I just need my scalp to be soothed. And then I'm gonna take some of the Design Essentials oil and add that a little bit into the mixture. Just put a couple squirts. And of course, I would do the same thing. Typically, I would just fill the dopper, this little thing, all the way up with the oil and then just add it in if I was using this one, but I'm not. Uh, so I could have done that with this just to make my amount more exact, but y'all get the picture. And of course, screw the top back on. And then I'm just gonna shake this up so it mixes up. And that is my mixture. Quick and easy. And again, if you need more, you just put, pour more back in the bottle and add some more oil and then you're good. All right, so this is my mixture and I'm just gonna start spraying this over my scalp. But before I do so, probably a lot of people who have seen apple cider vinegar um, rinses made, probably wonder like, why did I add any water? Because typically you see like, half apple cider vinegar, half water, or one third apple cider vinegar, and two thirds water, something like that. And the reason why I'm not doing that is because I'm just wetting my hair, and with my hair getting wet, so is my scalp. So there's already a balance between the water and then the apple cider vinegar that I'm about to add on, so, and my scalp is perfectly fine. If you feel like this is a little too strong for your scalp, water down. Do what's best for your hair and for your scalp. Everyone is an individual from your curls, your porosity, your scalp, whether it's dry, oily, or normal, so many things. If you don't like how some how a YouTuber is doing something, make the adjustments, because listen, it's your hair, it's your scalp. I don't know what problems you're dealing with, no, neither does any other YouTuber, so do what's best for you. But as a little disclaimer, I actually got this idea from Ebony with a V. It's her full um, YouTube name on here. I'll be sure to link it down in her video. It's pretty old. Her concoction was actually a lot more advanced than mine. She had a lot more different oils, but I don't like doing a whole bunch of DIY. So just doing the apple cider vinegar and then a pre-made oil mix that's good for scalp health is plenty for me. Um, if you want to check out her full video and she's detailed, very, very detailed and thorough with all her videos. 
so I would definitely recommend checking her out. She's also type 4 hair and low porosity unlike me, so if you can relate a little more to her hair texture and just how her hair works as a whole, definitely recommend checking her out, and if you don't, because I don't, <laughs> I still say check out her videos because she's amazing, but I've gone on long enough, so I'm going to go ahead, and basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to mess this over my scalp so i'm going to keep separating sections so i'm just going to start right here because my scalp is already being shown and then i'm going to keep going to different parts and just randomly sectioning i'm not trying to be all super fancy because if i move my hair a little bit it's going to get on my scalp to some extent or another and that's fine i just need this to make contact with my scalp and once i'm done i'm going to go ahead and put that cap on but First of all, let's apply the rest of this. massaging my scalp as well sometimes as I put it in and just a little bit afterwards as well just to it one just feels really good on the scalp it's really soothing by the way guys do not scratch your scalp with your nails it's not good you're gonna cause a um, bunch of scars and open wounds on your scalp and when you're applying apple cider vinegar you don't want it coming into any open wound because it will sting it's not gonna feel refreshing it's gonna sting and in general, again, it's just not good for your scalp. You're causing balding um, by causing certain hairs to be ripped out right at the root. So don't scratch your scalp. Use the pads of your fingers and massage your scalp if it's itchy. I find it funny that there's this or stereotype, but like black girls can't scratch your scalp because they have all these, especially if they have wave like, oh, you can't scratch your scalp. Like, look at me, I can just do this. Like, actually, nobody's supposed to be scratching their scalp. Nobody. That's not good for your scalp. That's not good scalp health. That has nothing to do with the scalp. I mean, sure, you're avoiding scratching the scalp and stuff because you don't want to mess up the braids that you paid a bunch of money for, but you shouldn't be scratching your scalp no matter what type of hairstyle it's in because it's not good for your scalp. Just putting that out there, but yeah, I'm going to spray a little bit more in a few spots, especially since I refilled the bottle a little bit. And then I'm going to start, ooh, I'm going to start applying, I mean, not applying, I'm going to put on my plastic cap and let this sit. One more good massage. Ooh. Yep. Also guys, fair warning in case you didn't know, apple cider vinegar does not smell good does not it's strong it's stinking it's it's not nice but it does wonders it just doesn't smell nice it's a super healthy thing if you ingest it put on your scalp put on your skin so many great benefits it just smells so bad but anyway gonna go ahead and put on the shower cap i'm gonna let this sit for about 20 to 30 minutes and then i'm going to rinse this out Alright guys, I'll be back in about 20 to 30 minutes, so I'll see y'all then. Alright guys, I am back. The apple cider vinegar is rinsed out and my scalp feels amazing. I'm going to jump in the shower quick and go ahead and start shampooing and following my normal wash day process. But again, my scalp feels so much better. It feels amazing. It feels really, really, really refreshed. So, Again, if you're someone with itchy, dry scalp and you just be going through the struggle sometimes, I definitely recommend doing apple cider vinegar rinses. Um, for those of you who've been following me for a little bit, you know I've been before washing twice a week and now I've gone down, as you heard that I went 10 days without washing my hair again, I've gone down to just wash down about once a week. So 
this definitely does help. Uh, I'm gonna come up with a few more tips and tricks for you guys for future videos on how to like make your wash and goes or your styles last longer in regards to scalp health because if your scalp's itchy, you're gonna wash your hair. Or at least I hope you would. That was the biggest thing preventing me from wearing my wash and goats or my twist outs or whatever for as long as I like. And I hate having to co-wash or wash again midweek when I put so much time and effort into a style. Or sometimes I feel like, oh, might as well just, you know, be super lazy with my styling because I'm gonna wash my hair in a few days. So my scalp's gonna act up. And no one likes doing that. So this definitely does help, but I'll be sure to come out with more tips and tricks for you guys. And again, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that red button down below and also hit the bell for all future notifications. Again, I'll be uploading Wednesdays and Sundays now, so be sure you're subscribed. You don't want to miss out. Got too much awesome content on this channel for you to be missing out, so subscribe. Again, let me know you actually enjoyed my content. I need a little bit of validation, just a little bit, just a tiny bit. So go ahead and hit the like button down below and also comment down below. Let me know if you tried apple cider vinegar rinse. Let me know if you have your own special concoction to make it work best for you, any specific tips or process for myself or for anyone else who might be checking out this video. And guys, again, follow me on Instagram at MayMayIsHere911, also my TikTok, which hopefully should be on MayMayIsHere as long as my name isn't taken when I go on there. Um, and that'll be linked down below as well. But guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. I can't wait to see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.